news has been dominating the headlines, so we thought now was a good time as ever to bring to light the various vaccines available for your pets to combat all sorts of ailments and threats. Tim Pandagia spoke with Dr. De Danette Cook about the shots available to protect your animals. Here's COVID as an example. Diseases come often, you know, so we're always on the on the brink of having a new and emerging type disease process. For instance, parvovirus that everybody knows about didn't exist in the 70s. That only came about in the early 80s. So a lot of people think that it's been around forever. It hasn't been. It was a brand new disease and it killed a lot of dogs. It is so important to keep your animals up to date on their vaccines and be informed by your veterinarian about any new vaccines coming available to combat new diseases. Vaccines for dogs and cats, usually it's not how many we give them. It's when we start them and then when we stop them. So it's a timed event. Administering vaccines too early will not be effective due to an immature immune system. Plus, their mother's antibodies are already present. So there's the core vaccines, which were absolute. Everybody needs those. And we have those in dogs and in cats. And so for dogs, that would be what we call canine distemper, para, um, parvovirus, and then also adenovirus 2. Also included in the core vaccines are rabies, critical for all pets to receive. Panleukopenia, I think it's just easier to say distemper than that. Uh, viral rhinotracheitis and Khaleesi virus. So when we give a feline distemper, we're giving those three in combination together. Non-core vaccines for dogs would be Bordetella, which is for kennel cough. Um, canine influenza, which a lot of boarding facilities require. It's still extremely rare, but the boarding facilities are just being uh, proactive, right? We don't want to have an outbreak on our watch. Another vaccine growing in popularity is the Lyme vaccine. Dr. Cook says this should be administered if you are from or travel frequently to New England. However, it is also becoming more common in our area as well. This will offer your dog protection. If there's a story idea you want Tim or me to look into, reach out on social media or send him an email. And you know